How do you usually prepare for the concert? Do you have some rituals? Yes, I have. Um, I'm always doing a lot of makeup uh, before um, I go on stage. I dress in uh, special clothes, um, I wear special hair and so I have to prepare myself for like two hours and listening to Deepish Mode or The Cure usually. Where are you now on your musical path? What's happening with your band? Well, we just started playing again um, uh, after the Corona break and this is our fourth or fifth concert and um, so we are uh, just getting started and yeah, we're preparing a new album, making new songs, um, collecting some new experiences because we have a new drummer, Lars, and he's uh, a very good drummer, we have a lot of fun. How did the pandemic, pandemic affect you and your music? Well, uh, we had to stop rehearsing for like a year and we did not play concerts for one and a half year. So um, we prepared a lot of new songs in our home studios, um, um, conferencing um, on Zoom and similar um, opportunities. And um, well, it was a totally new uh, situation for us as musicians, but we got over it pretty well and we were also um, very creative during that time. So for the um, musical part, it wasn't that bad as we expected. Respect und Neugier Festival is about diversity, curiosity and respecting those differences. How much do you identify with that? How do you interpret it in your music? Well, we um, identify a lot with um, diversity um, because um, um, I'm a queer person and I'm singing a lot of lyrics about um, a queer person's life. So the diversity theme in a sexual and gender um, way um, is always in our music um, included. And we like to play in um, yeah, parts of the city that are not that um, s central as probably St. Pauli or Kreuzberg. Um, we like to play in um, places like Moabit or Hellersdorf, uh, Marzahn, sorry, or Hellersdorf, um, because um, people there um, should know about queer music and about indie music and the diversity of music. And so I really like the idea of the Respect and Neugier Festival. Why did you become a musician? Can you remember that? Did you know a kid now? Ah, did, can you remember that kid now when you look in the mirror? Yes, I can. <laughs> I was a very difficult kid and I started playing drums when I was 10. When I went to a, um, yeah, a youth club, a center for young people, and I was a very difficult um, child then. And someone said to me, um, well, you should play the drums because you are so aggressive. And that's why I started playing the drums and I kept uh, playing them for a lot of years. And uh, after a couple of years, I met the guys we made Schrottgrenze nowadays with and uh, learned the guitar. And yeah, now I'm 40 uh, something and I'm still playing. <laughs>